morning. It is indeed a great day in Florence County, a special day, a day that hopefully everyone will remember for a very long time. This is the culmination of a lot of hard work, a lot of efforts on a number of folks that are here in the audience, but also behind the scenes. And we want to thank you for being here. The fact that you're here <clears throat> as a major stakeholder in our state, in our county, in our city, for the simple fact that you being here means significant economic development efforts are being made. To the special guests that we have on stage, Matsumata san, thank you. Governor, this is a special day in the state of South Carolina. It is a transformational opportunity for the PD region, but also the partnership with our largest employer in the upstate. Secretary Lightsey, thank you. Willard, this is a monumental opportunity in front of us. From Rocky Pierce and myself, representing the Florence County Economic Development Partnership in the city, we thank you for being here with us today. <clears throat> Please look to your program for highlights of the uh, special uh, day that we have in front of you. The new state-of-the-art technology and commerce park which represents over 900 acres of economic development opportunity of which Envision will become our anchor tenant. I wanna thank Francis Marion and Dr. Carter. <clears throat> Bud, Kate, and Austin have done a fantastic job with the Performing Arts Center and they are very special. I have some additional thanks to our legislative delegation. The fact that we have the ability to deliver a package as large as this for the PD region is transformational in and of itself. To the Department of Commerce, Harry, your team has been phenomenal. I see out in the audience <clears throat> our leadership with John and Mandy and uh, Daniel and Cindy. For those that are part of the Department of Commerce team, there is a lot of heavy lifting that it goes around this state. And at this Christmas time, thank you for your efforts. For the NISA staff, our regional economic development, it is a concert of literally a massive performance of a lot of entities that come together. And as I look out and I see NISA as well as Commerce here, it is a very uh, much a pleasure to have you uh, in Florence County. Ready South Carolina, the commitment that we will have with workforce will be next, uh, second to none. Dr. Hardy, Brad, Dr. Ford, I'm looking forward to the challenges of working to build this labor force. For those that are in the audience to have that next transformational opportunity for the students that are in our community. To the county and city leadership, the efforts that we have done has been literally uh, groundbreaking for our county and our city to come together on this project. The school district, so important for us to have District 1 as part of this, as this is a very important day for Dr. O'Malley and Porter Stewart, as well as the entire team. I wanna thank the development team of the site. It is hard to fathom 900 acres. As I talked to my father uh, recently, you know, when you talk about 900 acres, he said, well, a golf course can go on 100 acres. That is a big site, and I'm so excited about that. To the Duke Energy and Progress partners, Mike Callahan, Steve West, Jason Speak, the sheer power in the magnitude of this site is second to none. And we're so happy to be working with Duke Energy Progress. Dominion Energy, the gas delivery. Everything has to be but for. But for these efforts, we would not be here today. And that has a lot to do with the families of the owners of that property. That is critical. To the partnership staff, to the partnership progress boards, I want to thank everyone, the legal team, every effort from county, city, company, as well as our development efforts have been phenomenal. The site selection group of Mullis and team, I always knew in my 30 year career that they were one of the best. Now that they've chosen Florence County for this next project, I know they're the best. And they are truly an, a critical part to this development. <clears throat> the Masterworks Choir. In economic development, it is a concert. It is an orchestra. It is a choir. 
The city can't go above the county, the county can't go above the state, the chamber, everyone working in concert. So we have the opportunity to have the choir here today. So look at your program and learn about the phenomenal talent that we have in our community. And with that, I want to give a special applause to everyone who I've just mentioned, and thank you for being patient with that. <clears throat> Lastly, I'd like to thank Major Anderson uh, with the Air Force Junior ROTC from West Florence High School, as they will be presenting our colors. And so please stand as they present the colors.
Good morning. And Ohio gozaimashita. Not, not too long ago, in October, uh, we gathered at BMW's facility in Greer to hear the announcement of the largest economic development project in the history of our state. As BMW announced their bold plan to transition to battery electric vehicles over the coming decade, they also announced that their battery partner would be Envision AESC, the world's leading company in the technology of EV batteries. Today, we gather to welcome Envision to the city of Florence, the PD region, and our state. Matsumoto-san, we are so honored to have you and your company choose South Carolina to be your home. And we commit to you to be your best partner to support Envision, Envision's continued growth and success. This announcement is the next step in our governor's bold vision to ensure that South Carolina remains at the center of the mobility industry as it undergoes its most important transformation in its 100 plus year history. Since I arrived in my position, we have been working with the governor's guidance on this transformation. This fall, the governor convened our EV summit and issued his executive order, showing South Carolina's intent to be a leader in mobility. Envision will be an asset, not just to BMW, but to other companies in our state and in the United States. Envision's presence here in Florence puts Florence and the PD region at the center of the governor's strategy. And so it is my great honor to introduce to you our governor, Henry D. McMaster. Thank you all very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Y'all, I often get a lot of credit for things other people have done, but I appreciate that, Harry. Oh, I'm glad to be back in the, the pearl of the PT, PD. Uh, this is, um, it's almost like a homecoming to me. A lot of y'all know that uh, my mama was born on Cherokee Road and daddy spent uh, his younger years in, um, on Dargan Street. And so I've got, mama used to tell me I've got, she has 48 first cousins. So that means I'm related to just about everybody here probably. And, <laughs> Mr. Matsumoto-san, I tell you, it's, it's like a family. It really is like a family here, and it, it has that feel. And I can remember when Florence was a, it's always a beautiful place, but I can remember when it was a much smaller place, always a warm, friendly place, but who would have ever thought a few years ago we'd be building a battery cell manufacturing plant right here. This is, but that's a good sign it's one sign of what is happening in our state. We have been recognized as the place, the best place in the country, not only to live, work, and raise a family, but to do business. We are a right to work state. We have a friendly legislature. We have all of the things that are necessary for a company and people to thrive. And in, the, in my experience, and I'm sure in those of many of you here in the audience, the the key to it is always the people. It is always the people, the people in the institutions, the people behind the institutions, but it's always the people. And in the, in the several years that I've had the opportunity to, to do this kind of work for the state, I have heard that from just about everybody. Great assets, but it always comes down to the people. And just to mention a, a few, we have a great university here Mr. Matsumoto-san, I don't think there's any place in the country where you could find exactly what you need more precisely than you can here. We have a great university led by a great president, Fred Carter. We call on Fred Carter for just about every time we have a tough question about almost anything. We call on Fred Carter. Tim Hardy's here, the head of the technical college system, which Wilbur Ross 
Donald Trump's Secretary of Commerce said many times on his trips to South Carolina, we have the best technical college system in the country. And we're providing scholarships, millions of dollars of scholarships for high demand jobs. We also have our four year kindergarten. You can go, anybody don't, don't need the money, you can go to kindergarten in South Carolina now. Because we are training and educating our people because that is the thing that makes us so special, makes us different. Not long ago, at one of the anniversaries of BMW, up in Greer, outside of Spartanburg, the, the chairman said that South Carolina's a handshake state. That when he'd rather have someone's handshake than their signature on a dozen contracts. And it reminded me of my uncle Bub Dargan, who passed away years ago, my mama's brother. Uh, my mama's uh, brother, he, many of y'all knew Bub, he was in banking, and he told a story that fit into that description. I don't remember the names of the people, but there was a, a, a businessman who borrowed some money to put up or renovate or build a building downtown. And after they were having the grand opening of the building and cutting the ribbon and celebrating and all that, the man was walking back with his banker down the street to go back to wherever they were going. And the banker says, well, that was a very nice celebration. Now, once you get all the celebratory events overcome by the bank and we need to sign some documents for the mortgage, that you, the money you just borrowed. You see, it was all on a handshake. You don't find that everywhere. Mark Clark, great general, World War II president of the Citadel, said, four-star general said, that more patriotism per square inch in South Carolina than any place in the world. And he'd been all over the world, and that was a very telling statement. What does patriotism mean? It translates into loyalty, it translates into truthfulness, translates into determination, all the kind of things that make this place special. And we honor our veterans in our state. We do all we can to support them. And they also are a major factor in our progress here. Speaking to people, we don't need, in this, this uh, company, Mr. Matsumoto-san, if you need anything done with the University of South Carolina, you can call on the members of the Board of Trustees. Dr. Eddie Floyd sits there, so does Dr. Dawn Smith. I need to recognize, is Gene Leatherman here? Hugh Leatherman, who's in heaven now, has been a major leader in, the, in our state and in our success. And I know he's looking down at us right now, clapping and happy because there's so, so many things that the people of this, this town, this county, have had an impact in all around the state. They work together, they know each other, and again, it's just like a family. The Bruce and Lee Foundation, you know, government doesn't do all this. This is, again, it's the people. The Bruce and Lee Foundation are responsible for great things here. The great, imagine the vision, and you can see the vision when you see the buildings and see the activities as we just saw a moment ago and as we see when we look at this building. It is all of those things that make this place special. And in addition to that, it's, it's only one hour from the beach and that's, uh, that's good news for most of us. So, Mr. Matsu, Matsumoto-san, I want to welcome you and your company and your people to South Carolina and I, you may have already met your brand new congressman, Russell Fry. You have your own congressman right here. So this, I say, this is a place that has it all, and all you need to do is walk down the street. When you go in to buy something at a, at a filling station or a little shop, before you leave, the cashier or one of the salespeople, or typically, as they do, me, they'll call you honey, sweetie, darling, dear, all those kind of things. Ladies and gentlemen, you just don't find that everywhere. So I say Florence, the pearl of the PD, is the whole package. And I know that this company, Envision AESC, is going to thrive, and it will be because of the greatness of that company and the greatness of the people of South Carolina right here in Florence County. So Mr. Matsumoto-son, we welcome you and your company 
to our great South Carolina family. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending our event today to celebrate the announcement of our new electric vehicle, Batteries Gigafactory in Florence, South Carolina. I'm Shoichi Matsumoto, the CEO of AESC, a global technology leader in manufacture of batteries for electric vehicle. That is headquartered in Zama, Japan. For 12 years, we have produced high performance extended range battery for 800,000 EVs in 59 countries, achieving a 100% safety record. It was great pleasure and pride that I'm here in Florence County with all of you as we celebrate a major milestone in the expansion of our U.S. business. Today's announcement is the culmination of many months of hard work with multiple partners. And many of those partners are here with us today. Thank you. And it is my great pleasure to make this announcement with Governor Henry McMaster, South Carolina, and the legislative leadership who pulled out all the stops to make this happen. We look forward to continuing this relationship as a great example of true collaboration and support. U.S. market is among our most important. It presents an enormous opportunity for us with its focused potential to become the biggest electric vehicle market globally, achieving 4 million EVs by 2025. And that's just the start. We have already made a good progress on our commitment to power the U.S. shift to the EV with notable investment announced earlier this year, and now today's landmark announcement for South Carolina. Taking total our investment in the United States to over $3 billion. Collectively, when complete, our U.S. plant will provide up to 70 gigawatt hour capacity nationally, helping to power the United States shift to electric vehicle. The location of our new gigafactory in Florence, South Carolina, provides the best solution 
a demanding, of de demanding set of requirements, including workforce availability, a strong talent pipeline, transport ring, and infrastructure readiness. The plant expected to be complete by 2025 is strategically positioned to supply technology-leading battery cells to support the next generation electric vehicle model produced at the BMW Group's plant at Spartanburg. Globally, AEC is leading the way. Over, over the past year, we announced new gigafactory in France, the UK, Japan, Spain, and here in US, which will take total our capacity to more than 150 gigawatt hour worldwide as a part of our commitment to reach 300 gigawatt hour by 2026. As a global tier one battery purchaser, we will continue to push the boundaries of performance, safety, and efficiency to create superior products using sustainable processes. Our mission as a company is to solve the challenges for a sustainable future. Our motto is an individual can travel fast, but a group of people can travel further together. I'd like to conclude by presenting that we will continue to work with our partners in Florence, South Carolina, and our customers to achieve sustainable economic growth in the region, supporting our communities as we journey towards our ultimate destination to make the EVs more affordable and accessible for millions of U.S. families. Thank you very much for your kind attention today. So I'd like to ask the Jeff Dayton, the managing director of our U.S. business, speak to more in the detail about the new plant. Jeff, some please. Good morning, everyone. So today's a ma today marks a major milestone for Vision AESC in the U.S., but it's also a day of gratitude for all the people that's helped us get to this point. I'd like to thank Governor McMaster and Secretary Leitze for their kind words and recognize them as leaders and ambassadors on behalf of the great state of South Carolina. Your dedication and hard work have brought us to this moment. Thank you. I also want to acknowledge that this project could not be possible without the tireless work of a number of many officials of the state of South Carolina. Some are, who with it, are with us today and some who could not join us. Finally, I thank the innovative local leaders here from Florence County and the city of Florence, such as Mayor Teresa Myers-Irvin, 
County Council Chair Willard Doherty, Florence County Economic Development Partnership Chair Rocky Pierce, and Greg Robinson, Florence County Economic Development CEO, whose staff has shown us so much support in not only getting to this point, but also planning today's event. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here today to mark what is a momentous day for Envision AASC here in the U.S. But more importantly, I'm honored to mark what I believe is an important day for South Carolina, its economy, and above all, the people of Florence. South Carolina is home to 500 automotive companies and is the number one exporter of passenger vehicles and number one producer of tires in the United States. Envision ASC's planned job growth builds on the state's automotive heritage with the sector already employing over 72,000 South Carolinians. Included in these numbers is our partner, BMW Group, who have been great ambassadors for doing business in the state of South Carolina. So, the decision to center Envision AESC's investment here was an obvious choice to us. Partly due to your history, but also in large part because of the readiness of the skilled workforce required to deliver a project of this scale and importance. Today, batteries are fast becoming a strategically important industry, powering the United States move to electric vehicles and, importantly for South Carolina and Florence, powering the economy and jobs. Envision ASC's $810 million investment in a brand new state-of-the-art gigafactory in the newly named Envision Technology and Commerce Park will provide over 1,100 new high-value, future-proof jobs for the people of Florence. Our new 30 gigawatt hour facility will produce our latest innovative next-generation battery cells, which have 20% more energy density than today. That means the cars they power will take less time to, to charge and also can travel further without having to be recharged. Now, if you're wondering about the size of the plant and how it's going to run, let me tell you. We'll be utilizing about 500 acres, and the whole plant will be powered by 100% renewable energy sources led by our partners at Duke Energy and Dominion Energy. The operational details are one thing, but what makes me most excited about our investment is what it means for this community here. South Carolina already has the resources in place through its partnership with the SC Technical College System via Ready SC to support workforce training and recruiting, and with the SC Department of Employment and Workforce, which provides worker training and employment opportunities within the state. With a strong international footprint, the Palmetto State has consistently been among the top in the nation for attracting jobs through foreign direct investment on a per capita basis recognized by multiple economic development publications for its pro-business climate. Every one of our future employees from production and manufacturing to working in maintenance, management, and support functions will be part of putting Florence at the forefront of one of the country's fastest growing industries where automotive and technology come together. Market forecasts for the United States indicate tremendous growth in electric vehicle sales, and here in Florence, South Carolina, we're going to play a critical role in making them. We're extremely grateful for the level of support that Governor McMaster and the local region have shown to get us to this important point, which highlights the strength of our enduring partnership and shared ambition to be national leaders in the e-mobility transformation in the United States. I very much look forward to working with all of you together as we continue on this journey. See you at the groundbreaking next year, and thank you. Well, good morning, and welcome to everyone. This is certainly a momentous day in Florence County, in the PD area. And this couldn't have been done without a lot of individuals giving their time and their effort to accomplishing this. 
It was quite a task. It moved much smoothly than I ever thought it would. And there's so many people I need to thank. Mother son, we thank you for bringing vision here. We thank y'all, Jeff, we thank you. It's such a pleasure to know we're gonna be working with a company that cares about the community like y'all do. And we're excited. And I want you to know that County Council is always ready to help y'all in any way we can. Thank y'all. Governor, it's always wonderful to have you here. We thank you for your support in this project. We know how you love our area, and we just thank you for that. Secretary Leitzer, I can't thank you enough for what Commerce has done in your staff. It has, it's gonna be a game changer for Florence County and the PD. I always say Florence County is the pearl of the PD. If we grow, the PD grows. And ladies and gentlemen, that's something I will always believe. The late Senator Leatherman used to tell me that, and I agreed with him wholeheartedly on that, and I wish he was here today to see this, because I know he's happy in heaven. I want to thank some people that I work with, because I don't know if this has been possible without their support in the beginning. Vice Chairman Buddy Brand serves from County Council, Chaplain Wayman Mumford, Councilman Al Bradley, Councilman Roger Poston, Councilman Kent Cottle, Councilman Jerry Yarber, Councilman Tony Moore, and now Judge Stephen DeBerry, who was on County Council when we began this endeavor, and a dear friend of mine who is not with us now. I wish he was, but I know he's in heaven smiling down today because this is something that he wished. He and I talked about this long hours about economic development in Florence County, and that is the late James Schofield. He really had his heart into Florence County and to the individuals, and I want everybody to know what an impact he had on discussions that he and I had, and I thank them so much for that. Three years ago, County Council had the fortitude to issue a $22 million bond. I got calls. My taxes are going up. But let me tell you the impact of that $22 million bond. It proved to other people in the state that we were serious about economic development. We were serious about growing Florence County, growing the PD. If you don't have commitment, you never reach the stars. It never happens. You've got to have commitment. The gentleman I just talked about on County Council supported this wholeheartedly. Not one time did I hear one of them back up. Not one time. And during the process, everything we had to approve to get to this point, not a single one of them had a negative comment. They were always positive. Let's move forward. Let's make it happen. What do we got to do? Ladies and gentlemen, that's leadership. And that's what I'm lucky to serve with, is leadership. I, I, I appreciate each one of those men so much, they'll never know how much I appreciate them. Because certain things came into play after that. We've got so many good things that's going on. I appreciate Greg Robertson, our CEO of Economic Development. He hit the ground running. Wonderful. But Rocky, I appreciate you and economic progress so much. Because y'all, have done a lot of work. I'm sure Rocky got tired of me calling him all the time. Where are we, Bo? What, what are we doing? You know, well, what about this? What about that? But you know, you got to stay in the grind. You got to make it happen. Today is the culmination of all the things we wanted. When we started economic development, I dreamed of something like this, but I didn't know if it could happen. Guess what? It's happened. And ladies and gentlemen, I make you a promise. This is not the end. This company that we have here in Vision, and, Matt, and Mr. Matt's motor son, they're going to grow. And as they grow, we're going to grow even more. And with this, Florence County is on the map in this state with economic development. And we've got so many people that have helped with this. It's been, it's been unreal. I, I had the pleasure of, of meeting the Mullis group, Mike and Denise, what y'all have brought to us is unbelievable, and uh, I'm challenging y'all to bring us more. <laughs> and of course, DePaul with Alliance, it's always good to have you working with us. And you've done a yeoman's job on this, and, and we thank you for what you have had in this project too. It's just amazing what can be done when everybody works together. 
Y'all realize the city and the county worked together on this, didn't we, Mayor? When we all work together, we're all stronger. A chain is only as weak as its weakest link. But if we work together, we don't have weak links. That's what I ask y'all to do, to pledge to us as community members that y'all will support us in this economic development because it's going to pay huge dividends. Just think about it. If they employ a million, excuse me, a thousand people at the wage range we've heard, that's approximately $70 million worth for payroll in a year, salaries. Do y'all know what that means for a community, an additional $70 million in the community? That doesn't count the economic development that they're doing. That don't count the other things, but they tell us that a dollar turns over about six times. Ladies and gentlemen, Florence County is now poised to be a player in this state of economic development, and we're not going to stop here. We're going to support our new friends 110% all the way. And anybody else that wants to look at Florence County, we're there for them. But I thank you all for being here today. I thank you for each and every one on the stage and what they have contributed to this. And may God bless each and every one of you all. Thank you. Good morning. There should be more excitement in the room than that. Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of the city of Florence, I would like to welcome you to our great city. And to the CEO of Envision USA, thank you. To Jeff, thank you. It's an honor to have you here. To our great governor, it's an honor to have you here in the city of Florence. To our state Secretary of Commerce, thank you for all that you've done to be a part of making today occur. <coughs> to our other great guests who sits with us this morning, to County Council Chair Willard, to former Mayor Rocket Pierce, and to Jeff, thank you. When I look in the audience, I see so many wonderful faces. Today is made possible by the actions of partnerships. I do want to acknowledge our city council, will you please stand so everyone can see our leadership here in the city of Florence. Thank you. When we look to our city council, what you see, the ability for us to do the things that we do is because of a great city staff that operates our city day to day, so I thank them too. When I look in the audience, I see our citizens and our partners. We thank you for making today possible. I'm honored to stand here this morning as we are envisioning the future of Florence. I want you to think back to November of 2020 when we, Florence, agreed with the majority of our voters that we would set out together on a pathway of moving Florence forward. We knew that we had so much potential to work with, but we also understand that our potential was rooted in partnerships. We understood the importance of powerful partnerships. I want you to think back to February 26 of 2021. Our Florence Chamber of Commerce asked me to present the mayor's vision for the city of Florence. I did bring a copy of that with me today because I wanted to hold on to that because I always want to remember that was a long comprehensive speech and presentation. And if you were there, you will understand why I say that. But I understood the potential that Florence held. I understood that in order for us to move forward, we had to be one Florence. One Florence mean the city and the county. We had to step forward, and every time someone said Florence, they needed to understand the partnership power that the city and the county held together. We knew that in order for us to move Florence forward, we would have to work for community and economic development. We also knew that the future was green, which required green initiatives. 
We understood that in order for our city to continue to thrive and to grow, we had to have jobs and career opportunities. I want us to also remember that when we think about what we have today, the vision statement that was presented to us in February of 2021 is being met today right here through the partnerships that you see on this stage and in the audience. I want you to take a moment and look at the partners on this stage. This is the power of partnership. We have a city, we have a county, and we have a wonderful state. And we are all here together, working together to envision the partnership power that we have to make sure that we continue to have community growth and development, jobs and career opportunities, which begin today, which are being birthed because of these economic partnerships for our Florence. Florence will now be positioned in history to be that leadership that brings a broader future, not only for our young people that we want to retain and keep here in Florence, but we also will attract others to our great region. Now this is only the beginning, and this requires that we as citizens, our businesses, organizations, and our leaders continue to work together to advance growth and development of Envision. So we, Florence, can continue to thrive so that we can envision a brighter future, so that we can create opportunity, so that we can attract others to our great city and to our county. To our partners here this morning, I want to say unto you, you just don't know the excitement that we have here today. We have made history today, Florence. Look at the diversity and the inclusion that you see on this stage today. This is the future of our city, of our county, and our state. And in order for us to continue to do this, we must continue to work together because I do want you to know, Florence is moving forward. And we do have great potential, but most of all, we have the power of partnerships that would make us the shining light for this region. And I'm so thankful that we can envision that now with Envision. Thank you. Good morning. We're so happy to be here today. Fred, I'll tell you, I have heard the national anthem I don't know how many times in so many different locations. But being up here on this stage with the Masterworks Choir singing our national anthem, it just gave me chills. What a wonderful, wonderful place. Once again, who would have ever thought that Florence would have this kind of a facility uh, to celebrate this announcement? So, Fred, thank you for that. Um, you know, one of the bad things about being last, everybody's already said what I was gonna say, uh, and they said it eloquently. So um, I'm going to narrow my talk down a little bit more than that. Um, you know, Florence has been preparing for this day for a long, long time. And we believe that this day would come when Florence would be recognized for all of the city and the county and for the people that are here. You know, public office is, is an honor to be involved with. And they say a lot of politicians here, elected officials. and. When you, were run, when you run for mayor or you run for any kind of office, you do what's called, you knock on the doors and you go to the neighborhoods and you ask for people's votes. It's a wonderful thing to get to know your community that way, uh, but it also is a challenge. And so everybody here that has sought office knows that it's a good thing. When I was running for mayor the first time, my consultant would take me to a neighborhood and drop me off and pick me up two and a half, three hours later. And, uh, and then we'd, I'd go and knock on doors. 
Well, I had been knocking on doors for about three hours. I was a little tired. It was cold. And I came to the last house uh, that I was scheduled to visit. It was a small home. And I walked up to the front door, knocked on the door, and this elderly lady came to the door. And I said, I'm Rocky Pierce. I'm running for mayor. I sure would appreciate your vote. And she said, Mr. Pierce, I've seen you walking around this, my neighborhood today. She said, I know you're cold. She said, would you like to come in and have a cup of hot tea? And I said, yes, ma'am. I would love that. Thank you. So I walked in, and she asked me to sit down. She brought me a cup of tea. But while I, she was making the tea, I was sitting there. And it was a one-room house. Had a pot belly snow stove for heating. Wooden floor, but the planks were about an inch apart and you could look down and you could see the ground. And she was providing this comfort to me. It, it affected me in a very positive way. So we had a good conversation, and she said, Mr. Pierce, I know you're busy, but will you join me at this window? And I said, yes, ma'am. So I walked over there, and she said, do you see those children out there? I said, I do. She said, if you are elected, I want you to promise me that you will do everything in your power, that they can have a bright future, they can have a job, they can have a career that will bring them up from out of this poverty and that they would have a good life with a good income, not just enough money to get by on, but to have some disposable income. Today, with Envision, here today, her dream has come true. You know, I've heard so many times from so many people, and I'm sure most of you that here in Florence have as well, is people keep saying, when will Florence get a plant like BMW? When will we do that? Well, I'm here to tell you today with this announcement of Envision AE, that day is now. We have arrived. And I'm about to focus on, I cannot thank you enough. So, that's my talk. Economic development is all about dollars and cents, but more importantly, as the governor said, it's about the people, how you can affect their lives and change their lives and make great things happen for them. I'm happy to be involved in this and working with these people. Um, you know, having been in office, I understand uh, the, the pros and the cons, but when the city and the county came together, uh, there was never any talk of any hurdles. They say, what do we need to do? Tell us what we need to do. We'll do it, you know. And so those opportunities are here. Um, you know, I did, I want to say one thing too. There's two people I want to recognize. One of them is Jill Lewis, who is the president of Florence County Progress. The partnership is a county and Florence County Progress, the private sector, and they make significant contributions to our operating and other issues that we need to have taken care of. So, Jill, thank you for that. And I really want to thank Greg uh, Robinson. You know, he hadn't even been here five months, <laughs> five months, and this announcement has come. So, Greg, thank you for all your hard work, too. You know, um, I looked it up that um, envision means to imagine the future with a envision e a e c s our future is bright. Thank you. I'm going to ask the, uh, the governor and Matsumata son, please stand uh, in front. We have a uh, token of appreciation. So we'll step over here. This is a flag that flew over our state capitol. We thank John for bringing this. And this is a historic day for South Carolina and the vision. On behalf of our county and our city, thank you very much.
And uh, that concludes our program today. So if you could please join us upstairs for light refreshments. Uh, we want to thank everyone for coming. And we hope everyone has safe travels. God bless and happy holidays.